many of our brothers and sisters are drifting away from the church. It is estimated only 23% of U.S. Catholics attend Mass each week. Curious, I asked my friend Marilyn, a millennial, why she thinks people our age are leaving the church and how she remains so strong in her faith over the years while it seems like more and more people our age are leaving the church. Enjoy. I think it depends on the person, but um, I think like faith in God is a relationship. So sometimes it's it can be hard when you're when you're like you know doing the things, um, praying and not really seeing the fruits of it, or you feel like you don't get an answer. Um, at least in my life, I think sometimes I've struggled with holding on because it seems like you're just not getting a response and. Um, I think if it is a relationship, it involves investment, and sometimes that's hard because you have to invest your time and your heart, and um, and there's not always like an immediate like feeling. Um, so I think that's part of it, and then also, at least in my own life, I have um, there's definitely times when I've been tempted to walk away because um, I was either busy or because. Um, sometimes, at least very early on in my relationship with God, I just thought like believing in God and having a relationship meant that life would be pain free and it's not. And I think sometimes that's a hard reality to realize that there is suffering and um, that's just part of being human. But um, Jesus is a companion in our suffering. Um, so I think like we how, always have that choice to either suffer with him or without him and it's infinitely more comforting to to know that Jesus is there and that he's never going to abandon you or let you walk through something alone so for me that's been my biggest comfort is knowing that um, through it all we have this joy and I've had times in my life where it was like a difficult season but um, I experienced so much joy that didn't make any sense in any like logical way but it was only by God's grace, and so I think um, I think sometimes that's hard if you um, are suffering to keep holding on, or if you don't see um, suffering removed. Honestly, I have tried. There have been times when my heart was rebellious, and I was like, "Lord, I'm done. You know, this is too difficult." And I've walked um, the opposite direction, and it. I've seen what it feels like to live life without God or to try to because he's always there right um, he's always like pursuing our heart but it was it felt so meaningless to me um, and I think it's only in Jesus that we find our meaning so I experience um, just like a profound difference in my life when I know I'm seeking God and when I'm not one of the biggest blessings in my life in terms of Growing in my faith has been community. Um, just having people around me that are also passionately pursuing the Lord and are pursuing virtue and just want that, I think has been for me um, a good source of just accountability and growing. So just kind of surrounding yourself with people that um, want to know God. And um, so for me, that looks like there's so many events in this area that like I just kind of church hop and find things that seem meaningful to my life. Um, so uh, that's, I think, one of the big ways. And then aside from that, like just having daily time for prayer, which I'm bad at most of the time because I'll, I'll try to set aside time, but it doesn't always, I don't always make time for it. Um, but I think my favorite way to pray is Eucharistic adoration because I'll just, it's like one of those things where you can go and it doesn't matter if you have anything to say or not. You can just sit there and sometimes just look at Jesus and let him love you and let him do the work that needs to be done in your heart. And um, there's not always a feeling, but you just know that God's doing whatever he needs to do in there. So that's been, for me, like one of the biggest um, sources of growth. So Monday nights, um, we have what's called Encounter at Mary Immaculate, and it's for young adults. Um, so we have like praise and worship and uh, 
Eucharistic Adoration, and then time to just reflect on next Sunday's Gospel. Um, so we just let kind of let it simmer in our hearts, and um, you break up into small groups and talk about it. Um, the Prince of Peace has uh, Exalt on at one Tuesday a month, so that's been a big blessing in my life too. Um, Mary Immaculate also has what's called the Rise on Wednesdays. So uh, those three things, and then 6:35 is once a month. Um, yeah, there's just tons of stuff. If you were having a hard time finding community, or a hard time just getting back into your faith, I highly recommend you coming to one of these events, or just message us. The links are below. Lastly, my friend Lauren, who is a focused missionary, is selling homemade rosary. And with every purchase, she prays a rosary for your intentions, which is amazing. If you're interested, the links are below. Please support her and help her out. Thank you for watching. This is the Millennial Quest. Hope to see you at one of these events.